Welcome to the journey of entrepreneurship, a path paved with dreams, determination, and a dash of madness. Ever wondered if you're cut out for this world? Ever had that light bulb moment where an idea just clicked and you knew you had to bring it to life? Perhaps you're sitting on your couch, scrolling through this video, and it hits you. A brilliant idea that could be your ticket to the world of entrepreneurship. Suddenly your heart is racing, your mind is whirring with possibilities, and you can't wait to start. If this sounds familiar, you might just be on the brink of an entrepreneurial epiphany. The first sign that you're destined to be a business tycoon. So buckle up, grab your notepad, and let's dive into the 15 signs that you are meant for the entrepreneurial world. You never know by the end of this video, you might be ready to trade in your nine to five for the thrill of the startup hustle. Welcome back to Wealth Minds Elite, the place where we redefine success, one elite mind at a time. Did you know that the sign of a true entrepreneur might be getting lost in daydreams about your potential CEO office while pretending to work on that Excel sheet? Ah, the art of daydreaming. It's then just a way to escape your nine to five routine. It's a sign of a powerful imagination and a vision for something more. Picture this, you're sitting at your desk, your eyes are on the screen, but your mind is miles away, designing the corner office of your very own enterprise. You're lost in the texture of the mahogany desk, the view from the skyscraper window, the buzz of your future employees in the background. It's not just a daydream, it's a vision. The ability to visualize your goals is a key trait of successful entrepreneurs. So keep dreaming, folks. Because if you're a master of the you might just be a future business tycoon in disguise. And hey, if you're already daydreaming about hitting that subscribe button, why not make it a reality? Join our entrepreneurial journey and let's daydream our way to success together. Ever found yourself fixing the office printer for the umpteenth time and thinking, I could be solving bigger problems than this? Well, you're not alone. Many entrepreneurs find themselves in a similar predicament. They're the ones who can't help but see a problem and immediately start brainstorming solutions. It's like an itch they can't help but scratch. They're the ones who, when faced with an issue, don't just shrug and say, well, that's how it's always been. Instead, they roll up their sleeves, dive in, and figure out a way to make things better. They're fixers, improvers, innovators. They see the world not as it is, but as it could be. And they're not content until they've moved the needle even just a little bit. So, if you're constantly fixing things around you, you might just be the next big problem solver in the business world. Are you as comfortable with risk as you are with your old, worn-out couch? Then welcome to the world of entrepreneurship. In this high-stakes game, risk is the ticket to entry, the chips on the table, and the dealer all in one. It's as unpredictable as a roulette wheel, but when you're comfortable with risk, you're ready to place your bets. It's not about throwing caution to the wind. No, it's about understanding that stepping out of your comfort zone is the only way to achieve something extraordinary. It's about knowing that the path to financial freedom, to wealth creation, is paved with calculated risks. So are you ready to spin the wheel? To take that leap towards the luxury lifestyle you've always dreamed of? Remember, comfort with risk doesn't mean being reckless. It means understanding the odds and betting on yourself. If you're more comfortable with risk than most, you're already ahead of the game. So if your vision has become part of your home's decor, you're on the right track. And hey, if you've been nodding along with us, why not go ahead and subscribe to our channel? We promise, unlike your business vision, it won't add another sticky note on your fridge. Do you see market gaps everywhere, even in the line for coffee? Then my friend, you might just be an entrepreneur. Now let's unpack this idea. Picture yourself in a queue for coffee, a line that seems to stretch on forever. Where most people see an inconvenience, you see an opportunity. You start to brainstorm a queue management app that could revolutionize the coffee industry and potentially many others. This is the essence of an opportunity magnet. You're the kind of person who doesn't just spot problems. You see them as untapped potential as chances to innovate and create. It's like you've got a sixth sense for spotting these opportunities and you can't help but be drawn to them. You see the world through a lens of possibility, a world ripe with chances to make things better, faster, more efficient. If you see opportunities in everyday situations, 
you're already thinking like an entrepreneur. If your networking skills are so sharp you could start a business at a deserted island networking event, if there were one, then you're definitely an entrepreneur. Now consider this. An entrepreneur is akin to a social butterfly, flitting from one person to another, building connections, and weaving an intricate web of relationships. It's not just about collecting an impressive stack of business cards or getting the most LinkedIn connections. No, it's about fostering genuine, beneficial relationships. Imagine you're at a networking event on a deserted island, hypothetically of course. Would you be able to convince a coconut tree to invest in your startup? Kidding aside, the point is, your networking prowess is a testament to your entrepreneurial potential. It's about understanding people, their needs, their desires, and finding ways to meet those through your business. It's about creating a community, a network of people who believe in you and your vision. So, if you're a networking ninja, your entrepreneurial journey is already underway. If you've got a degree from the University of Life in budgeting, forecasting, and squeezing a dollar out of 15 cents, then you're definitely an entrepreneur. Yes, you heard right. Penny pincher prodigy. The seventh sign you should start a business is your uncanny ability to manage finances. In the business world, this isn't just a talent. It's a superpower. It's about more than just being frugal. It's about understanding the value of money and knowing how to make every cent count. Imagine this. You're a maestro and your budget is your orchestra. You're conducting a symphony of savings, investments and expenditures, creating a harmony of financial success. It's all about wealth creation, making smart decisions, and ensuring the longevity of your business. Being a penny pincher prodigy isn't about being stingy. It's about understanding that financial freedom comes from managing money wisely. It's about building a luxury lifestyle from the ground up. So, if you're a penny pincher prodigy, your business is bound to be financially sound. And speaking of sound, sound financial decisions, isn't it time you did something that's both prudent and free? Why not subscribe to our channel? It's another smart investment for your future. Who knew being financially savvy could be so entertaining? Do you adapt so well your middle name might as well be Pivot? Then, you're definitely an entrepreneur. Yes, we're talking change chameleons. If there's one thing that's certain in business, it's uncertainty. Markets evolve, trends shift, and new challenges emerge faster than you can say, business plan. The ability to adapt and evolve is not just a survival skill, it's an entrepreneurial superpower. You see, being a change chameleon means you're flexible. You're not just prepared for change, you anticipate it. You don't just survive upheavals, you thrive in them. And let's not forget, some of the greatest success stories were born from a pivot. So if you're a change chameleon, constantly adapting and evolving. You're not just ready for the unpredictable world of business. You're primed to conquer it. So, if you're a change chameleon, you're already equipped for the unpredictable world of business. Do you manage deadlines the way others do dance moves, smoothly and always on beat? Then you're definitely an entrepreneur. Let's be honest, in the grand waltz of business, timing plays a crucial role. It's like conducting an orchestra where each section must play its part at the right time to create a harmonious symphony. Imagine a business world where deadlines are the rhythm and you're the dancer. You're not just counting beats, you're making every count matter. Each stride, each pivot, each twirl is a task completed, a goal achieved, a deadline met, and oh how you dance, with poise, precision and a dash of panache. But it's not just about keeping pace, is it? It's about setting the tempo. In business, like in a dance, you lead by making your moves matter. You're proactive, not reactive. You're a choreographer, not just a dancer. So if you're a deadline dancer, your entrepreneurial journey is already on beat. Do you understand customers so well, you're considering a side gig in mind reading? Then you're definitely an entrepreneur. You see, in the world of business, having a strong understanding of your customers' needs and expectations isn't just beneficial, it's essential. Consider this, you're not just selling a product or service, you're offering a solution to a problem that your customers face. So, understanding what your customers need, how they think, what they value, well, that's like having a roadmap to success. 
You become a customer whisperer, able to anticipate their needs before they even realize them themselves. It's like being able to see the future, isn't it? And when you can meet, or even better, exceed those expectations, your business will not just survive, it'll thrive. That's the power of understanding your customers. It's the secret ingredient to creating a business that resonates with your target audience. So, if you're a customer whisperer, your business is bound to resonate with your target audience. Do setbacks make you stronger? Then you're definitely an entrepreneur. Let's talk about resilience, the backbone of every successful entrepreneur. Picture this, you're a basketball player and you've just missed a shot. Do you give up and walk off the court? Of course not. You grab that ball and you take another shot. That's exactly how it goes in the business world. You're this bounce back baller, taking hit after hit, yet always ready to get back in the game. Failure isn't the end of the road. It's just a detour sign on the journey to success. Every setback is a setup for a comeback, a lesson learned, a stepping stone towards your dream. It's about dusting yourself off and emerging stronger, wiser, and more determined. So if you find yourself eating setbacks for breakfast and asking for seconds, you've got the one trait that separates the dreamers from the doers, resilience. So if you're a bounce back baller, your entrepreneurial journey is already resilient. Do you absorb information like a sponge in water, except you're soaking up podcasts, books, and webinars? Then you're definitely an entrepreneur. Welcome to the world of the learning leech, the entrepreneur who is always ready to soak up new knowledge and insights. In the fast paced world of business, staying informed is not just a bonus, it's a necessity. Whether it's the latest market trends, technological advancements, or changes in consumer behavior, the learning leech is always on the lookout for new information. They don't just learn to pass time, but to stay ahead, to innovate, and to fuel their entrepreneurial journey. They are the ones who understand that knowledge is the ultimate wealth creation tool. They are the ones who turn their wealth secrets into financial success. The learning leech is the millionaire in the making, the luxury lifestyle seeker who knows that financial freedom comes from continuous learning. So if you're a learning leech, your entrepreneurial journey is already well informed. Is resourcefulness your middle name and duct tape your tool of choice? Then you're definitely an entrepreneur. Welcome to the world of MacGyver 2.0, where the entrepreneurial spirit thrives on the ability to think on your feet and make the most of the resources at hand. Remember, in the business world, you can't always wait for the perfect tool or the ideal situation. Just like the legendary MacGyver, you're not defined by what you don't have, but by your ability to innovate with what you do have. You see potential where others see obstacles, and you know how to turn a paperclip into a key when needed. Creativity is not just about producing ideas, but also about finding new ways to solve problems with limited resources. This is a crucial skill for any entrepreneur. It's about working smarter, not harder. So if you're a MacGyver 2.0, your entrepreneurial journey is already resourceful. Do you crave feedback so much? Even your dog's tail wags are a form of performance review. Then you're definitely an entrepreneur. Welcome to the world of the feedback fiend where every comment, every nod, every raised eyebrow is an opportunity for growth. You see, entrepreneurs aren't just problem solvers or risk takers. They're constant learners, always seeking to improve, to refine, to perfect. And feedback is their secret weapon. It's like a mirror reflecting your strengths and weaknesses, showing you where to focus your efforts. It's a compass guiding you towards your business goals. It's even a mentor teaching you invaluable lessons that can't be learned from books or webinars. So don't shy away from feedback. Embrace it. Seek it out. Learn from it. Because the more feedback you gather, the stronger your business becomes. And the stronger your business, the closer you are to achieving that luxurious lifestyle of financial freedom. So if you're a feedback fiend, your entrepreneurial journey is already performance driven. Have you monetized everything from your knitting skills to your ability to name obscure 80s bands? Then you're definitely an entrepreneur. It's the age of the gig economy, where your unique talents can be your golden ticket to wealth creation. The key is to recognize those talents and turn them into a steady stream of passive income. You might be surprised at what can make money these days. 
It's not just about being the next tech whiz or Wall Street mogul. Take knitting, for instance. It's not just about crafting cozy sweaters for your loved ones. It could be a booming online business selling unique handmade creations. Or maybe you're a music aficionado with a knack for recalling obscure 80s bands. Why not start a music blog or a trivia night at your local bar? The point is, every skill, every passion has the potential to be monetized. It's about seeing the potential and seizing the opportunity. So, if you're a money-making maestro, your entrepreneurial journey is already profitable. If you found yourself nodding along to most of these signs, then congratulations. You're definitely an entrepreneur. You've got the daydreamer's vision, the problem solver's knack, and the risk taker's comfort with the unpredictable. You see opportunities where others see cues, and your networking skills could spark a business even on a deserted island. You've mastered the art of budgeting and adapting to change, dancing with deadlines, and understanding customers like a mind reader. Setbacks are just another meal for you, and you're always thirsty for knowledge. You're resourceful, feedback hungry, and have monetized everything from your hobbies to your obscure knowledge. Embrace these qualities, for they are the building blocks of financial freedom, the secrets to wealth creation, and the keys to a luxurious lifestyle. So, elite minds, if you're a daydreaming, problem-solving, risk-taking, opportunity-spotting, networking, penny-pinching, change-adapting, deadline-dancing, customer-whispering, bounce-backing, learning, resourceful, feedback-loving, money-making maestro, then welcome to the world of entrepreneurship. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, even your dog's tail wags are a form of performance review.